Well, this afternoon, thousands uh, took to the streets of Tel Aviv, continuing with their protests, blocking the city's main highway. A court in Israel says a general strike currently taking place across the country must now end. Well, from there, our Middle East correspondent, Alistair Bunkel, has more. For the second day running, protesters have blocked the major highways running through Tel Aviv. Today is a general strike across Israel, which means uh, public sector workers are out on strike. Businesses, shops, restaurants are closed. Uh, public transport's not running. Ben Gurion Airport has been closed to flights landing and taking off as well. Now, we think that strike is going to end at 6 o'clock uh, this evening. The government is opposing it in court. But whilst that strike is going on today, uh, people are using it as an opportunity to come out again and protest uh, against the government and against Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, just to give you an idea of, of where we are, as I said, central Tel Aviv, but right outside the defence ministry, uh, which is where uh, the Israeli cabinet often meets uh, in wartime, where Benjamin Netanyahu spends a lot of his time. And I would guess that if the protests are like this now, uh, what well, just coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon here, uh, they will only grow uh, as the day wears on. I can see people uh, walking to join it, and the crowds are getting bigger, and they want to bring Israel and Tel Aviv to a halt, which is what they're doing. Hey, sorry, can I just quickly ask you, um, you're out on the streets for a second day. Do you think this time will make a difference? I mean, you've been protesting for 11 months. Um, you feel that the Netanyahu government's not really been listening to you. Do you think this time is different? We will not stop until they're all back home. We will not stop. And yes. what if this what if this doesn't isn't enough to, to change their mind? What then? We will do everything we can to get them back home. What's your message to the Israeli government? To bring them back home now. And that means a ceasefire deal in Gaza. Do yes. you think it's time to stop fighting? Yes. Okay. Bring Thank the you. soldiers, bring the soldiers back home, they bring the hostages back home. Bring all of them home. Um, there are reports in American media this morning that President Biden and Vice President Harris are meeting later on in the White House with the U.S. national security team to discuss the ceasefire deal, and perhaps they might put on the table a sort of a take-it-or-leave-it deal, if you like, a final chance to both Hamas and to the Israeli government that the negotiations have been going on for a long time. They have repeatedly failed. And I think you know, there is a lot of frustration in the US administration, certainly amongst the Qataris and the Egyptians, as the other two mediators, uh, that maybe it is now time to say, look, here is the deal. If you don't want it, don't take it. Uh, but we cannot shut these negotiations out uh, ad infinitum, uh, especially when the strength of feeling in Israel for a hostage deal does seem to be growing.